The Seahawks closed out their mini camp Thursday by spending a lot of time working 11 on 11. Hello 12s, I'm Jen Mueller and all of that full squad work gave Pete Carroll and the staff a chance to see where the team is at going into a critical point of the offseason. We had great work consistently throughout um, leadership and energy and uh, the learning that took place stood out. I mean, all those, oh, they all stood out. And uh, so we've come a long ways and uh, I'm really fired up where we've, you know, where we've arrived, knowing that the biggest part of this offseason really is, is this next six weeks that come up for our guys getting in shape, coming back to camp. That's the next time the entire team will be on the field for the start of training camp. Between now and then, Pete Carroll wants to see the guys level up their workouts and literally hit the ground running. I'm going to tell you, this might be the fastest team we've ever had. Well, this, this team can fly, and, and I, want us, I want that to be a strength that shows up because we're all there, and we're all, we're all running fast all summertime. So I, want, I told every position, I want them at their fastest, strongest weight. I don't care about the big numbers. I want them to be fast and strong, and that means basically they're going to be lean for, for their, their makeup, and so uh, I want everybody running. Speed has shown up in different ways during minicamp, including the time frame it took for the rookies to learn the playbook. And that was by design. In this camp, uh, I wanted us to be in a performance mode more than a practice mode. And so we were taking all of the stuff that we had learned up until now and, and took it to the field to apply and show, show what you know where we are so that we could get a great gauge on it. And uh, the guys did a wonderful job. And really, we've been doing situations. It's really been the theme of this entire offseason is situation work. A far cry from the last couple of years when COVID restrictions forced the Seahawks and every other team around the league to adjust their offseason work. This class of rookies won't be behind the eight ball like the past two. This is kind of where we're supposed to be at this time of year, and we have not been there in years past in the last couple, and uh, it's fun to get out here. These, these guys had a blast. I mean, they had fun doing it. They liked the work. They came with a great attitude every day, and uh, um, really, this was not difficult on them. Of course, one of the biggest storylines of minicamp and the offseason is the quarterback competition. Geno Smith and Drew Locke have both gotten reps with the ones and twos. That will continue into training camp and throughout the preseason. Man, they've been impressive. They've been really impressive. And it's not been, you know, any one sequence here or one day here. One, they have just been solid throughout. Um, we've shared a, a ton of reps. Geno's gone with the first group throughout. Um, uh, but they've had very close to equal reps in, in, in situational uh, opportunities throughout. Uh, they really have been very impressive and, and, and uh, you know, I can't tell you anything other than that they've done a terrific job so far. They look in control. Um, Gino's still ahead. You can tell that, um, but it's not going to be too much for, uh, for, for Drew to, to be caught up by the time we get through camp. Uh, he'll be there. He's, he's really bright. It makes sense to him. Uh, he's really sharp in the huddle and at the line of scrimmage and all of that. So there's, there's, it's just time that, that he needs, and there's, there's nothing we can do but just you know, gain some more of that. As for whether the Seahawks will have Chris Carson on the field for training camp remains to be seen. Pete Carroll said there is an assessment coming up in two weeks that will determine where he's at. For the rest of the team, there is a passing camp taking place next week. It's designed to jumpstart that six week workout time frame. Several young players are expected to attend as well as the quarterbacks.